What's up, y'all? It's Kelsey Rihanna J here with a pretty massive haul. I haven't had a video since May. Or was it April? No, I think it was May. So I haven't had a video since May. So I've collected a ton of stuff. I think this might be my biggest haul yet. I don't know. I have to go back and look on my page. But I hope that you guys have been doing well. I miss you guys. I haven't made a video in a really long time. Which is really trifling on my part. But I do have some new exciting content to share. And thank you all who have subscribed to my channel to keep up with me. And please continue to watch and enjoy my videos. And I will continue to record them. Okay, so starting off. Um, I, don't, I really don't even know where to start. I guess I can do like a quick little update. Um, my hair is like a purple tone now. If you guys can see that, it almost kind of looks black to me in the camera. But it's definitely purple. If you follow me on Instagram, at Kelsey Brianna J, you can see my pictures. And I upload on there really regularly because it's super quick and easy to do. You take a picture, you upload it from your phone. Versus sitting down, filming a video, you gotta get the perfect lighting, you gotta have the backdrop together, you actually have to have something to talk about. Then you make the video and then you edit it, record it, and then upload it. Just whatever I pull out of the bag because I'm tired of looking at this stuff. It is piled up, I'm ready to put it away and get everything organized and straight. The first thing I pulled out was a brown box. Um, I ordered something from Nordstrom's. I'm not going to turn it on the other side because my address is on that side. But I will show you what's on the inside. So I ordered a NARS brush which to my knowledge these are exclusive to Nordstrom's and this one is a number 47 angled eyeliner brush and it has like the little red tip on the box and this is the brush uh oh I haven't even opened mine so it's still in the plastic I'm unboxing it's a stiff brush and when I'm doing this, dust is coming off of it. Ugh. This really cool sweatshirt. This is a Yeezus sweatshirt. And I got this from PacSun. And on the back it says Yeezus Tour. But basically this is Tour merchandise. And he released it to PacSun. And you were able to get it. Apparently, um, these shirts came out... They came out um, Black Friday, and my location just so happened to have some left over. TJ Maxx, I got this kimono, which is really cute. It's easy to throw on, and it's really comfortable. It's colorful, and it's pretty long, so it has a lot of colors, so it'll match a lot of different stuff, and it's made by... Angie, my mom, she got me um, a jumpsuit from Forever 21. And it's kind of hard for me to show long stuff. It's kind of hard for me to show it like on my camera. So I try to hold it in a way that you're able to see it. This is the print. And then the back is kind of exposed. So it's really, really cute. Handheld mirror for my kit. And I'm almost done recording my kit I mean not recording but building my kit with the staples so that should be a video that I'm going to make soon because I have been buying and biting the bullet and just stocking the kit and just getting all the stuff that I need to be able to do a freelance job effectively with everything that I would need like what if I were to be at the counter so I'm almost done with that so be on the lookout for that video soon but yeah this was so necessary for me to have this mirror because I just had like a little mirror and that's the first thing people say do you have a mirror no one like, hmm, I need to get one so so has the best accessories I got two pairs of earrings but I won one and I don't feel like getting up again now maybe I can find a picture but this is the other pair that has not been worn just because these are really flashy and big. These are really cute. You can wear these with a lot of different outfits. You can wear them with your hair up or down. It looks like some earrings you get to go out of town. Like if you're going to Miami, you can wear these earrings. I got two pieces by Vince Camuto. And I really like it. This one is so off season. Like I can wear this when it gets cold, but I really liked it. It's a white and black sweatshirt so I really love white and black stuff so 
And then, well, that's actually by Vince Camuto, too. That's his other line, and this one is by Vince Camuto. And it is a striped long maxi skirt which was really comfortable. The back part of this haul is so big, I honestly could have done the MAC part by itself and not had that in this video and that's how much MAC stuff that I have. So show, I got this little shirt. It's like a poncho shirt and I thought it was really weird. And I got this from Marshalls but it's really comfortable to throw on and wear. And I liked it. It kind of reminded me of like a siesta. I got a really good deal on a Ralph Ralph Lauren Romance set. There is a Lancome outlet that's not far away from where I live. So I go there from time to time. And they had this kit. Like originally it's an $88 value. So like if you were to get it from a department store, it probably would be $88. And they had it marked down to $74.50. And I went on the day where it actually was 50% off the $74.50 plus an additional 20% off. So I got all this basically for the free. It has a moisturizer. It has the big, big bottle of romance, a body mist, and it also has the body wash. So that was a super good deal. We can move on to... Uh, makeup specifically I'll start out with what I got from Sephora of course I have my Sephora bag I got this brush just because my friend Mel loves it hey Mel um this is the uh, pro all over powder brush and basically like she said it's like a big microphone so you can use this like if you're one of the people that only like to wear powder by itself then this will help save time because it's so densely packed it'll help you Pack on the powder and get a really good full coverage without keep dusting and dusting and dusting and dusting like with the regular powder brush. So this is good for that application. It's really good to press in the powder and get it in there. Um, Paracone Face Finishing Moisturizer. I got NARS Light Optimizing Primer, which I'm excited to try. And I got Paracone Plas Chloroplasma Mask. So... I'm excited to try all this stuff if I remember to try it. Honestly, every time I get a lot of samples there, they always just go bad and I forget they're there. I leave them in the bag. I don't know. I don't know what it is with me and samples, but I just really don't use them. I don't know. Um, tiny Hands. I went to Lush and um, I got a few things, but at this point I've used all that stuff. That's how long I've had. I've had it for like about a month and a half now or maybe a month, but I've used it. So I still just have this and it didn't come in this tin. This tin was like four or five dollars by itself, which was like if you don't get it, then what are you gonna store this in? Because this is a heat activated, um, it's a heat activated hand hand moisturizer. I don't, I don't know. It's good to moisturize your hands. It's a really strong scent, so I don't like wearing it if I'm about to go somewhere. I really don't like putting it on if I'm about to go to sleep because then I smell it. So I don't know when I'm going to use that. I got some more stuff from Sephora on a separate trip. I just recently picked, well actually I didn't get this from Sephora. I got this from Dillard's. But it is the Dior Pore Minimizer um, Primer. Which again, Mel recommended this to me. She had this at her house. And I tried it and I loved it, so I went and purchased some. It really does help smooth the skin and help the makeup go on better. Also, it minimizes the pores, so any imperfections that you have on your face is going to be um, masked by this. It is an amazing product. The only thing is, is that I don't want to use it every day just because it's $45. But in retrospect, all primers are about $40. So like Max Primer is $40, Lancome's Primer is $40. 45 this is 45 it's just I guess if you're gonna prime your face then it's a necessary thing to just go ahead and spend the money because it's gonna help your pores not get clogged too and Smashbox is 40 so it just is what it is I got these are all like her suggestions by the way Revlon um the precision clear lash adhesive and i use my duo and i love my duo but she said that this was good so i'm always game to try something out and it's really inexpensive it's like two dollars at walmart and i bought the electric palette which i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it is a super colorful pretty palette this one is mine it comes with a duo sided brush 
and on one side it has a synthetic uh, larger shader brush and on the other side it's again a synthetic smaller brush just good for the application of these which these are pressed pigments so I'm actually thinking about getting another one of these for my kit and just having this for like my bright eyeshadows for my kit because truth be told I don't do a lot of bright looks when I do freelance jobs mostly everybody wants natural looking makeup so if I could get my hands on another one of these for my kit then I probably will go ahead and do that just to keep this on hand because it'll save a lot of money because I was going to do the makeup forever eyeshadows and like make a palette like of those for colorful but this one is cheaper and on urbandecay.com I get a pro discount so and now they let you do your discount on palettes so that is really good hourglass and I've been wearing this blush a lot I got the one diffused heat which I was kind of I've been wanting one but I never got one just because of the price tag of the blush. But the blush is really beautiful. It gives a really pretty finish. I don't have it on today. But I have been wearing it. I kind of organized. I organized my stuff like based on when I got it. So this stuff in this bag, I got this first. And then the other stuff I got more recently. I, I purchased this. And I wanted to do the smudge eyeliner look and everybody goes on and on and on about feline. I thought it was a limited edition pencil, but we had some at our counter. I don't know if they're supposed to be there. I don't know if they're permanent or not because when I go on the website, I don't see them. So I'm assuming they're not. So I just bought this one and it is a super rich black, black, black eyeliner. So, and it's a cold, so it's meant to be smudged. Another bottle of Fix Plus, which this stuff is really good to help not set the makeup, but speed up the oxidation process so it looks like how it's going to look in a few hours. I really want a big one, but it is what it is. I got the small one, and then this one is the 0.68 fluid ounce. Bottle collection that is one of the most beautiful collections that Mac has ever come out with. It was a mother and daughter duo, and I'm really close with my mom, so I really love the concept and I love the colors and the quality and the packaging and everything in between. Like you name it, I loved it about this collection. So I pretty much got a good chunk of the things that I feel like I could use on myself and on my clients. Um, I've used all this stuff so none of it's new what I'm showing this is um, Sharon's blush It's called peaches and cream It's Kelly's blush and this one I'm not so sure I'm able to use it but definitely fair skin tones can get good use out of this one it's called cheeky booger which the name is kind of nasty but you know 116 brush this is for me not for my kit and I actually did not own a 116 brush before, so I'm excited to add that to my arsenal. And this one is in Riot House, which you kind of got to do some maneuvering to make this work for you. I can't just wear it straight out of the tube, which I kind of hate about certain lipsticks. Like if I can't wear it out of the tube, I typically don't wear, typically don't wear it a whole lot, but I do like to have it in my collection. I got the Morning Magpie, Morning Mr. Magpie Brow Duo that Kelly came out with. And it's Soba and Run, I want to say. It doesn't say it on the back, but it's really good for eyebrows. It's two, like, really pretty versatile colors. And then this is really easy to throw in your travel bag if you do a lot of traveling and stuff like that. So it's good to have a little pre-made quad for that or well, not quad but duo that's a 132 brush which i'm honestly not that crazy about um i got this and gratis so they gave it to us but it's super small so it's really good for like application underneath here but honestly i just don't like um i don't like it for all over foundation because it's so small and I don't own the regular Rapid Black, but I wanted something that had a fat tip marker. And I use this a lot if I'm doing my makeup in the car and I throw it in my purse. And it's easy to get a really good dark 
straight winged liner with it. Sharon's Lip Gloss and Bijou, which I originally wasn't even going to get because everybody kept saying it was a grandma color, but I kept looking at it and I just thought it was beautiful. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and I just bought it. It's like a pinky neutral color, so it's easy to throw this on with a variety of different looks. And I always am loving some new lip gloss colors. This is Sharon's palette, and I absolutely love the versatility of this palette. You can do so many looks with this, and they're not your everyday neutrals. They're a little bit more warm toned, so it's a really pretty palette to have and be able to keep on your dresser because it's so pretty. I got Happy Hibiscus. Again, we had this at my counter i don't know i thought these were limited edition they were still in the drawer i've been wanting it um i think it's a really really pretty color i like the sheen supreme some of them some of the colors look a little bit older but the formula is really nice it's like a hybrid of lipsticks and lip gloss and i love my lip gloss so if I can have it in any form, I will take it. So I really like it. And I really love the purple one that we have. It's called, um, I want to say it's called something Japanese. The name is slipping for me right now. But anyways, I got Kelly Yum Yum, which is one of Kelly's lipsticks. It's like her take on Candy Yum Yum, but it's not as dry as Candy Yum Yum. This is my absolute favorite, of course. This was everybody's favorite. This is like the most unique lipstick um, that MAC has come out for a while because it's not like anything else that they've come out with and it's not like a whole lot that's out right now. It's not like Up The Amp. It's not like um, any... It's really just not like anything. So it's a really beautiful lipstick. I wish I would have gotten two and that way I always have it, but you know. I got Riot House, which is... Now this is Strip Poker. This is my least favorite from the collection. It's just like whatever. It kind of reminds me of a less pigmented peach stock. And it's more like nude than it is peach. Got another 239 brush, which I have been needing. Um, I have I buy 239 brushes, so I at least have three. But for whatever reason, I always lose one. So I like to have extras on hand because it's a brush that I use every day. Patina eyeshadow which is really beautiful it is a nice neutral color and it is a frost this is pure heroin which i didn't even think i was gonna like that much but i do i've worn it maybe four or five times since i got it i ordered it online this was lord's lipstick the one that sings royal uh royals is it royal or royals whatever the one that sings that song she came out with the lipstick by mac and i thought it would look super close to something i already had and I honestly was thinking it would look a lot like, um, what's that girl's name that always stars beef with somebody on Twitter? Well, Azalea Banks. I thought it would look like hers, but it doesn't. It's a really, really pretty color. And it is an amplified finish, so it has a little bit of a sheen to it, and I love it. I got another 217 brush, just because mine was getting old. It's like you can just tell when a brush is on this last leg. I got Bombshell Lipstick, which I've worn this a good amount of times, too. Their lipstick, which is so pretty. I've worn this twice. The only thing is that I don't think it matches my hair right now. So it's hard for me to wear this. And then I have other colors that are like this. Like the one that came out with the Maryland Scarlet Abyss. I have that. I have the one that came out with the Hey Sailor Collection. And I can't think of the name. So they're like really similar. So I probably won't buy another orangey red color because i have three and at this point it's just like overkill if i get another one i got pussy willow which i just had to get for the name itself <laughs> and i've used this one the most out of everything because i had this in my purse for a really long time but it's a tinted gold lip glass it is so beautiful over everything you put it over you can wear it over a dark lip liner you can wear it over a light lip liner and whatever you put it over it's just like magic on the lips kid eyeshadow which is i believe on the chopping block of getting discontinued so i just went ahead and picked it up um i'm not too crazy oh it was just like a regular color but because it's getting discontinued i'm like well i guess i need it deep truth eyeshadow which is so pretty it's like that dark blue i got old lipstick 
which is a frosty lipstick so that's different I wore it the other day and I got a lot of compliments on it a flamingo which I had a flamingo but I don't know what happened to my flamingo so I purchased another one just because I put it on a girl in a makeover and I wanted to buy it again then for the star of the Osborne collection it is definitely this 183 buffer blood brush I love this brush it is so pretty it's so amazing it really buffs in everything you can use it to buff in like your liquid foundation which I probably won't just because I don't want to have to clean it that often because the bristles are white or you can use it like for powder if you want to blend out your blush if you want to use it for bronzer like the brush is phenomenal and it's really soft and it's really tightly packed and it's flat so I love it I'm glad I was able to get my hands on it the stuff that I ordered one order was for me and one order was for my kids everything that I got all right, so I got some Volcanic Ash Exfoliator, which this stuff smells so good. I finally just bought it after years and years of getting a sample and trying it and going back, trying other people's exfoliators. I like this one the best. It is black. It has real Volcanic Ash. It says that you can use this once or three times a week. And you use it over, you wash your face first and then you do this and that way it really exfoliates. I got another pack of 100 wipes. Lifesaver. Love these wipes. They have saved many a towel from getting disgusting. I got worldly, worldly Wealth. Just because I promise I bought this blush when it first came out with Style Seekers like two years ago but I don't know I don't know where it is but basically it's like a frosty brown color it's gonna be really really pretty like if you want to do like a nice sunset look or either like wear it during the fall it'll be really cute something that's really slept on this is the studio finish face powder and it's in gold it's a pro product but basically it's finely milled gold dust Hello. Nobody talks about it, but the stuff is the bomb, and it gives like the prettiest highlight. You can use it like on your eyes. You can mix it in your lips. The stuff is beautiful. So that's that. Good stuff. Kelly palette. Just because at first I wasn't gonna get it, just because I was like, all right, I don't need it. But the more and more I kept looking at it, and I already bought so much of the collection. I'm like, why not just finish it off and now I have Skipper's Remorse once I saw that they restocked it. So I ordered it. It has four eyeshadows. The only one that's permanent is Shadowy Lady. Which I can just cross it off my list then. Because I don't own it anyway. So love the palette. Uh, Pro Longer Paint Pot and Painterly. This is actually my first time actually purchasing Painterly. I always get other ones that are... I just get Indian wood. I get the other ones. You, just the other ones. I never get the one that is the cult favorite. I got glam lipstick, but it leans more so to the red side. I didn't really need the lipstick, but hey, why not just throw it in just to have it? Because it is a really pretty color. Extended Play Gigabyte, Giga Black Lash. And I just got this like for everyday usage. And then I got. Um, a palette, the, the duo sided palette, and then I got two blush inserts just because these bad boys. And I was really excited to get these just because I've heard a lot of things, mainly about this one, Emphasize, which is a shaping powder. So these are really finely milled powders for highlight. I know you guys are familiar with the Anastasia um, highlight and contour kit. So this is Max version, which has been out for a long time, but I never purchased it. So I didn't know which ones I wanted. So I just bought all of them and I'm going to have the highlighting part on one side and the contouring part on the other side and just use both. The only thing is that this holds 12 and this is only 10. So now I have to find a powder to put on the highlighting side. And I guess on the contouring side, I'll just put blunt because it's like a, a duh fit you know what I mean all right so I got shadowy that is one of the sculpting powders and I definitely will do a review on this once I've used them but I'm not familiar with them at all it was hard for me to even find 
um swatches of it online so i'll just have to do my own research when it comes down to it this is another sculpting powder it's called definitive this is light sweep this is a shaping powder this is i showed you guys emphasize that's a shaping powder this is bone beige which is a sculpting powder out of all of them the, pro the one that I would probably not be able to use on my face would be Bone Beige because just out of the package it looks too light. So I'll probably use it on my eyes like for eyeshadow or something. This one is Sculpt. This one is a sculpting powder. This one's super popular. Um, here is Accentuate. Accentuate. So that's a shaping powder. Um, Soft Focus, which is a shaping powder. Shade Stir, which is a sculpting powder and warm light which is a shaping powder which i'm really excited to use this one because this one looks like it's really good towards african-american skin tones that's the end of my box so now i did another order and this stuff was stuff strictly for well i think most of it strictly for my kit i may have one or two things that i got and i threw in for myself but mainly i just got i got paid to do a job a freelance job and I did not even put the money in the bank account like I just went straight and I just knew that I needed some things to add to my kit so the first thing that I got was this um, clearly rec clearly matte rectangle bag and it's a really nice quality sturdy bag and I plan to put my mineralized skin finishes in here I saw my friend Benton do that and I immediately was like I need to have this so I purchased one I love the way it feels I probably will buy another one and keep my um, eyeliners and lip liners in there so I probably will do that because I really really love the way this bag is it's sturdy and it's like a good bag to travel with too so there's that I got that one for my mineralized skin finishes because he had. I saw him have it. We did. Uh, I did a fashion show with him, and he had his organized like that, and they like fit perfect, perfectly. So I was like, I'm getting that <laughs> for my kit. Oh no, I got this one for myself. This is the 212 straight line. Like, what am I? What am I trying to call this? This is the 212 liner brush, and I want to use this for underneath my brow. Whenever I do my highlight or if I want to shape them up with concealer. I got a 116 blush powder brush for my kit. I got a 239 eyeshadow flat shader brush for my kit. And I got a 109 rounded blush brush for my kit. Which I love the 109. And then I got, oh, you can also use this for foundation. And then I got the 130 which is my favorite favorite dual fiber brush that max mac makes just because it's small and it gives a good application i got the brush canister just because like little things you don't think about so like when you're done with your brushes you can use this to put your dirty brushes in for when you take them home because you don't want to put your brushes back in um in your brush belt because you don't want to contaminate and spread germs and the good thing about this brush canister is that it's adjustable so you see the different levels you can adjust it so you're not smooshing brushes or if you have shorter brushes in there and you, they're not just flopping around so it's really good and it goes all the way up this high so if you have a really tall brush it'll fit in there this level should be fine and it locks in and you can hold your dirty brushes and it's plastic so you can easily wash it out like after every job so i thought that was really nice and i probably will buy one of these like for my personal use and put it like maybe on my dresser or something like that just for dirty brushes so that was nice i got some brush cleanser and i fought getting this brush cleanser so hard because i know that it is very 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 strong and so this is just the brush cleanser that we sell at the counter and i just don't want my brushes to get eaten up or like bent out of shape or anything like that that'll cause harm to them i want to keep them as nice looking as long as possible so i'm just going to limit my use to that and if i'm on a job where i need a lot of brushes really quick and i have to clean them I, that's when i'll use that otherwise i prefer to shampoo them at home with my dr bronner's um 
uh, what kind is it? Lavender liquid soap, which is really good for cleaning. The mixing medium for eyeliner, I did get this for myself because I would like to mix my pigments. I used to have the MAC mixing medium for this, but my mixing medium went bad a while ago because I got it a long time ago. So they have since discontinued this kind and then they have different kinds for different things. These scissors just because I thought they were so cute. And like I was showing you guys earlier, I got the Sally Hansen scissors and those were really good too. But these are good to have in your kit and I don't plan on using them for anything but kit purposes. So like cutting plastic, paper, all this stuff that will not be done with these scissors. I can use these to cut lashes. I can use them to cut like different miscellaneous things like pertaining to beauty but like for like regular gang cut, no. And these aren't that sharp either so that way you can stick them on your brush belt and it's not going to poke a hole through them. You're not going to have a mistake and stab yourself. And I'm really excited because I got a brand new brush belt and this one is a MAC brush belt. And um, we don't sell these at counter but they do sell them online. These are not the exact ones we use at the counter. Um, this one is a little bit nicer as far as the way it feels. Um, it has MAC right here and it's like an iron on press on so I know that this will probably come off eventually. I would have liked if it was stitched on there or on the website they have a, a plaque where it says MAC like a silver plaque but it doesn't come like that. But it has a lot of space for brushes and overall it's a pretty decent brush belt. Hello! I love the drawstring bags just because it's so easy to store. I hate the flat ones. And this is what I got. My new baby. This is the Artsy MM, the Azura Artsy. And it is absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Like, it, gorgeous. I'm so excited to add it to my collection. It's beautiful. It's brand new. The leather is like white. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. I love it. So yeah, there's that. So I'm just gonna rock it in my arms. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so happy to be back and hopefully I'll be back soon with some new videos. Like I said, I'm almost done finishing up my kit. I mean, of course you can always add a few things, but just with the essential things that you need in your kit, I'm pretty much done with that. So I'm definitely going to give you guys an overview of that once I am totally finished. If you have any questions or comments, just feel free to leave them down in the bottom bar. I will try to respond the best that I can. YouTube doesn't always give me notifications when I get a comment, so I just, I'll just i just do my best to try to check back. If you have any questions about where I got anything or anything pertaining to the video, if you have any more ideas about videos that I can do, I've been doing this for a really long time, so like I run out of a lot of ideas to do for videos just to keep my ch channel fresh, you know what I mean? Because you don't want to see the same thing on YouTube over and over and over and over and over, you know what I mean? Because it gets too repetitive. So if you have anything that you would like to see me do or if you just want to know let me know i'm always looking for something to get my hands into also i'm on instagram at kelsey brianna j and if you have any business inquiries feel free to email me at kelsey brianna j at yahoo.com and i will talk to you guys later smooches Mwah. Mwah.